Hey, welcome to Geosof. In this question, we are given a triangle ABC with the given angles 30 and 40 degrees. And it is given that line segments AC and BD are equal. And we need to find this angle X at point B. In this video, there will be three different geometric solutions. If you want to try it yourself, just pause here and come back for the solutions. Now let's start with first solution method. First, we can use exterior angle theorem to find this angle as 30 plus 40 degrees and that will be 70 degrees. Now let's draw a line segment with equal length as AD as follows. By doing this, we have created this isosceles triangle. So its base angles must be equal. And if we sum up the internal angles, we can find the missing angle of this triangle to be 40 degrees. Now pay attention to this triangle. We can see that this is an isosceles triangle with 70 degree base angles. So its corresponding sides must be equal. Now let's call line segment ED as A units and line segment DC as B units. Since we know these line segments are equal, line segment AC will be A plus B units. Now remember that we are given in the question that AC is equal to BD. Therefore, this line segment BE here must be B units. Now let's focus on these two triangles. In both triangles, these angles will be equal to 110 degrees. And line segments forming these angles are also equal. From this information, we can conclude that these two triangles are congruent by side angle side rule. So corresponding angles should be equal. And from here, we see that our missing angle X will be 40 degrees. And that is our answer. Now let's start our second solution method. First, draw a 40 degree line from point D to point E. And using exterior angle theorem, this angle will be 80 degrees. And then this angle can be calculated as 70 degrees. And so this angle should also be 70 degrees. Now notice that this is an isosceles triangle. And let the legs of this triangle be A units each. And let's call line segment AE as B units. After that, let's take a point A units away from point D and call it point F. Then connect this new point with point E and focus on this isosceles triangle. We can see that its base angles should be 20 degrees. So this angle will be 60 degrees. Therefore, these two angles will be right angles. Now let's connect point F and point A. And this time focus on this triangle. And notice that this perpendicular line segment is bisecting the base. Which means that this green triangle is at least an isosceles triangle and line segment AF should also be B units. And its base angles should be 60 degrees. Now remember that we are given AC is equal to BD. We know that AC is A plus B units. So BD must also be A plus B units. Therefore line segment BF must be B units. Now focus on this triangle. Since both sides are equal, base angles must also be equal, so angle A should also be x degrees. From here we can use exterior angle theorem to see that 2x is equal to 60 plus 20 degrees. And so x will be 40 degrees. And that is the answer for solution method 2. Now let's start the third solution method. First let's use line segment AC to create this equilateral triangle. So this angle will be 20 degrees and this angle will be 30 degrees. Now extend line segment AD to the base of this equilateral triangle. And notice that this line segment is the height of this triangle since it is also an angle bisector. And so it will bisect the base line segment. Now connect point E and point D. And notice that this shaded triangle is isosceles since its height bisects its base. So its base angles should be equal. And these two angles will be 70 degrees. Using opposite angles, this angle will be 70 degrees also. So this angle should be 40 degrees. And remember that internal angles of equilateral triangles are 60 degrees. So this angle should also be 40 degrees. Now we see that this green shaded triangle is also isosceles. Let's call its equal sides as A units. And let's call line segment AF as B units. Since the yellow triangle is equilateral, line segment AC will be A plus B units. Remember that line segment AC is equal to line segment BD. Therefore, line segment BF should be B units. 
Now use the exterior angle theorem to see that this angle is 80 degrees. We know that this triangle is isosceles, so base angles must be equal. And now use the exterior angle theorem once more to see that 2x is equal to 80 degrees and x is equal to 40 degrees. And that is our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solutions and if so, please give a like to the video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you next time.